Hi everyone, Holly Pike here from SVG for Fun and Profit. Today I'm going to show you how to add registration marks to multi-layered designs or multi-colored designs so that then you can line them up correctly using your transfer tape and put on your project, otherwise known as layering vinyl designs. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using Cricut Design Space today, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn this off so it's not distracting, and we're going to go over to the software. The first thing you need to be concerned about when you're doing layering designs, setting up layering designs, is to make sure that your colors are grouped. So I want everything that's yellow grouped. So I'm going to select the first yellow piece in my little film strip here, hold my shift key down, and select by a left click all of the yellow. Now you see a box around it. At this point I'm going to come right over here and I'm going to click group. So now that's grouped up. It's all grouped together. If I close that, you see it's all grouped up. Now I'll do the purple. Hold my shift key down. Select all the purple pieces. We got them all. I'm going to click group. Now I'll do all the blue, holding my shift key down, touch each one individually, and click group. So now I know I have three individual groups of color that I'm working with, okay? So we'll start with the yellow. Now what we need to do is to add what we call registration marks. You can use any shape. You can use a square, a circle, a star, a triangle. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go into my shapes here and I'm going to choose this little pentagon just because it's fun. And now I'm going to make it smaller. It doesn't have to be very big. Even smaller is good. Okay, and I'm just going to put it right there. It doesn't matter where you put it because it's going to be the same on all three pieces. Now I'll just select that and I'll do a, a right click and say copy and a right click and say paste and then I'll take it and put it over here. It doesn't matter again where you put it and then I'll just paste again and put it right there. So now I've got my three little registration marks. It doesn't matter where they are. What matters is that they stay in the same place for each layer. So to ensure that, I'm going to select the first one, hold my shift key down, and select all of them. And I'm going to, you guessed it, group them. So I want to cut my blue color with registration marks. So I'll go over here and I'll make that blue. Now I've got my registration marks are blue. I'll select my registration marks and I'm going to copy and duplicate and now we're going to line them up. You might have to go a little bigger so that you can see that you've got them lined up because they aren't quite lined up. Okay, Go as big as you need to go to make them line up. Okay, so now I need a set for the purple. Okay, so I'll select my blue squares, pentagons, and I'm going to make them purple. Okay, now I will copy and paste. You can paste or duplicate, it doesn't matter. Line them up. Again, go as big as you need to go. To line them up. Okay, so now I need to make a yellow set. So we'll select it and we'll make it yellow. Go back down in size so you can see what I'm doing now. Okay, so we've got three sets of pentagons, three sets of colors, three groups of colors. So I'm going to select yellow, hold my shift key, and then come all the way down here and select that group of yellow. Make sure we've got them all. Doesn't look like we do. So let's do it again. Let's just select them individually. How about that? I've got all my yellow pieces now. So now I'm going to group them. So now what happens? When I grab this and move it, only the yellow moves. 
only the yellow moves. Registration marks are in the exact same space and place as the other ones. So now let's go ahead and get the purple ones. Select each of the purple pieces, make sure you get them all, and then group. Now when I move this out of the way, the purple ones are moved, right? Okay, now I'll select the rest. I like to use the film strip, I call it a film strip, because I make sure that I get them all that way rather than just selecting them on the screen. There we go. Okay, so everything's selected. You can either right click and group or use this group up here. Now you've got all three pieces ready to go and you can cut them and line them up exactly when you want to use your transfer tape. I have a video on how to put these together using your transfer tape and I'll attach that to this video. Now if you're watching on YouTube, please, please subscribe. My subscriptions are how I know that the videos are helpful to you and they motivate me and keep me moving forward. If you're not on my blog yet, please come on over www.svgforfunandprofit.com. I would love to have you join us. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope this layering video was helpful and easy and you have a lot of fun with it. Have a great day.